and here we go guys thanks for tuning in to my latest racing video in this video i'll be giving the l1r its first race run i give it a shakedown at southport just to get a feel of it and i was impressed so this is going to be the first time racing it up against very experienced drivers or four wheel drive four wheel drive drivers tend to be very experienced so i'm pretty sure i'm going to be at the back of the pack it's just all about getting laps under my belt and seeing how four wheel drive cars handle bumps etc 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 and here we go boys here's my pits for the rest of the day got myself a cheap little gazebo ready to run the l1r and the ld2 got all my gear got my pit box my core rc box and put my cars in here cars fit in there yeah boys shall we get on and here we go guys just had practice four wheel drive only lasted a few laps before the um, these two screws one either side that go on the steering rack come undone so we obviously forgot to put a uh, threadlock on them i took the bolts out that were in there they were quite short maybe about five mil and i put 10 mil ones in instead don't have to strip it down you can get it you can get the top and the bottom screw which is just in there underneath with a ball and um, a hex with a ball 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 fitting on the end so yeah didn't go too bad though yeah enjoyed it so next we'll go on to uh, qualifying round one so here we are guys with the starting grid a lot of new drivers i've never raced against before but they're all pretty much veterans got paul tonks who basically runs berry on paul mick Townsend, who's a big deal at um pendle he's the guy you want to speak to he's one of the um, committee members at Pe pendle awesome track i'll be going there next weekend kian races with his brother and his dad good group of guys very good races I'm not sure who Philip is, but he's in fourth. Lee is fifth. Paul Leach is sixth. And me at the back of the pack in seventh. So, yeah, guys, the main objective is just to not get in these guys' way. These guys are from another planet with their unidentified flying objects. The speed some of the guys go around. These four wheel drive veterans. Yeah. I'm just going to give it a go. See if I can improve. So off we go. As you've seen in the um, the clip at the start, practice didn't go well. These four wheel drives are kind of like Swiss watches. A lot of stuff to go wrong. I did think about getting an associated, but I wanted to stay with the same brand. Because like quite a few of the spares, like ball joints and stuff like that, are interchangeable. I think the wishbones on the rear might be the same as well. But yeah, get caught out by that cladding. So lap one is a 33.18. Fingers, fingers with four wheel drives, you've got to use your power to pull you through corners. Bit of a post in the way there, so I apologise for the post but it is actually structural to the roof and they didn't really have enough time to cut it out so here we go it is what it is so that's what I'm saying about the power delivery it's got a 6.5 in it three quarters of the throttle you're getting a lot more throttle response than you do in the um, two wheel drive it goes over bumps lovely though I'm able to go over the bumps with more confidence one of the guys, the guy stood next to me I'm sorry I don't know your name but he was giving me tips throughout the day so that's what it's all about these guys who are kind of like long in the tooth, been doing it for a while helping new guys like me with just setup changes so don't be daunted if you're thinking about getting into four wheel drive the more people that get into the sport the merrier and of course buy your car from model sport the best place in the uk to get your car spares as far as i'm concerned so i'm not actually last so someone must have a trans transponder a transponder issue slot four is a 29.77 
But yeah, I just was stood up here with a smile on my face. It's so nice to drive a four wheel drive. I must admit, a four wheel drive is nicer to drive than a two wheel drive, especially on this bumpy surface. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be racing four wheel drive at Southport next weekend because you can only race one. Um, you can only race one class at Southport. I will be racing this four wheel drive at Pendle though, so keep an eye out for them videos. Lap five is a thirty twenty five. So it'll be interesting to see at the end of the race just how quick the. Um, the winners going around the fastest car that would be really interesting but yeah lovely car I was getting a bit lap 6 is a 30 47 you can't pick it up on the camera but as the car was going past me I could hear like a slight clicking noise under acceleration so I kind of like sussed it out that that was the belt slipping and I think, I was thinking in my head while I was going around, it's most likely going to be the rear belt, because the rear belt's under more tension than the front is, I think. But anyway, lap 7 is my fastest lap so far, which is the 28-27. So I started to get to grips with it. But my laps, all my laps are definitely, um, like, high 20s, low 30s, so it's I'm driving better, even though up against these guys I'm getting eaten alive, but... One. I think you've got to admit like I've done all right lap 8 is a 3101 can just apply the power confidently it's just knowing when to apply the power like there <laughs> kind of like literally fall off a cliff just like my skip just like my skill level falling off a cliff around we go gotta be coming up to the back end of the race now got someone lapping me let him past don't want to get in anyone's way lap nine is a slow one 39 46 go get this last lap done Five, four, six. and there we go Three, nearly seven, took someone out on the start line finish line sorry so yeah Philip won it with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 25 48 Kian was second, races with his dad and his brother with 12 laps and its fastest lap at 24.455. Mick was third with 11 laps and the fastest lap at 25.59. Lee was fourth with 11 laps and the fastest lap at 25.10. Paul was fifth with 11 laps and the fastest lap at 26. Bang on. I was sixth with 10 laps and the fastest lap at 28.27. And there you go, Paul Tonks must have forgot to put his transponder in or plug it in or something. So, fastest guy is 25.48 and my fastest lap is a 28.27. So I'm kind of like 3 seconds off the fastest guy's pace. Which in a 30 second, in a 30 second lap, that I don't think that's too bad. Maybe I'm just um, buttering my own bread, but... You know, at least I got it home, 10, 10 laps. It would have been nice to get 11, but everything comes in small steps. As always, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah.